Welcome to Unit 9-3. We're still looking at systems of equations. This time we're going to be looking at them um, in a way that I kind of enjoy, solving by addition and subtraction. Of course, adding numbers together and adding variables is a comfortable thing to do, and we're going to see how we can use that uh, today. First, our math career, a cost estimator. A cost estimator. This is an important job. You, of course, are aware that uh, most macro decisions for companies or, or um, institutions are driven by money. Like, um, how much is something going to cost? Are we going to make a profit? Can we pay the bills? Uh, can we put some money away for a future expense, etc.? Well, cost estimators are hired and they're trained to do just that. They figure out how much a project or product will cost. This will help business owners and managers decide whether to build a structure or manufacture a product. Uh, if a business doesn't think it can make enough money, of course it's not going to do that. Cost estimators also find out which jobs are making a profit. The exact method of figuring out the cost varies depending on the industry in which you work. But a very integral job uh, in this economy, finding out what's exactly going to turn a profit here so we can continue growing a business or employing people, uh, working in medicine, even going overseas. So a cost estimator. All right, today we'll learn to solve a system of equations by adding or subtracting. Adding or subtracting. So let's take a look here. Uh, we have this word called elimination. And if any of you have played sports or watch sporting events, you know what elimination round might mean. Or, you know, the playoffs, so a team is eliminated. It simply means they're, they're out. They don't no longer are participating. So we solve systems of equations by graphing and by substitution. An additional way is by addition or subtraction. Your book refers to this method as elimination method. So just watch this example. Notice we've got this system here. X minus Y equals 3 and X plus Y equals 7. A nice, straightforward, simple example. If we solve by substitution, we would end up maybe adding Y to both sides and plugging it in for X. But just watch the simplicity of this. Take these two equations. Notice how nice they are. They line up. X's over X's, Y's over Y's, constant over constant, equal sign over equal sign, and simply use an operation you've been using since primary school, addition. Let's add straight down. What is 1X plus 1X? Is that not 2X? What is negative 1 plus positive 1? Well, a number plus its inverse is 0. And how about 3 plus 7 is 10? And now quickly you know that X equals what? Well, x must be 5. 2 times 5 is 10. Now, what do you do with the 5? We do what we've always done. We plug it back into either equation. I'm going to choose this one. And I'm simply going to say 5 plus what is 7? Well, we know that, of course, to be 2. And are we not done? There's your order pair, 5, 2. Solving by elimination. Watch example 2. x minus 3y equals 19 and 4x plus 3y equals 1. So we put some coefficients here. Notice still the x's are over the x's, the y's over the y's, the equal signs line up, the constants line up. And what can we do here? How about we just add straight down? This of course works, and some of you will see this right away, because these two constants here, these two coefficients I, sh I should say, are opposites of each other. And we know that a number plus its opposite add up to 0. The zero property of multiplication says zero times anything is zero, so we can eliminate here the letter y. Add straight down, 1x plus 4x is, of course, 5x. These two cancel each other out. 19 plus 1 is 20. Obviously, x is 4. Take the 4. This I'm going to use the top equation. Plug it in there and just do some simple math. Put a 4 in its place. Now subtract 4 from both sides. Negative 3y equals what? 15. And divide both sides by negative 3. So what does y equal? Negative 5. And there's your ordered pair. 4 comma negative 5. This solution, this ordered pair is a solution to the system. Plug them both in. It'll solve these simultaneously. Another way to think of that is that if you were to sketch these two lines out, they would cross right there at 4, negative 5. And they would have an intersection right there. All right, why don't you try this one on your own? Go ahead and hit the pause button there and uh, see what happens.
Okay, well, I'm still here, and here we go. What if we take this, and we were to add straight down? Well, when we do so, what do you see about those Y's again? Looks to me like they're going to cancel out, and I get 4X equals positive 8. So what does X equal? 2. Now, you can choose the 2 in either equation. I'm going to take the bottom one, plug it in there, and then simply solve for 4. So I'm sorry, solve for y by getting rid of the 2 and eventually the 4. So what is y equal? Negative 1. And I got an order pair of 2, negative 1. Okay? Hope you did the same. Now, let's look at this one. If we were to add straight down, what's 2x? Notice they're all lined up. 2x plus 2x, well, that's 4x. Positive 1 and negative 5, well, that's negative 4. So we're not going to eliminate anything doing this, are we? If we add, well, what can we do then? Well, there you go. If adding doesn't help, subtract. Solving by subtraction. Of course, it's the same idea. Take this, and let's see what happens. To subtract, change all the signs in one equation by multiplying by negative 1. Remember, we learned this previously. What we can do here is if we have to subtract, notice that 2 subtract 2 would be 0. Now what I'd like to do is, to be honest with you, is I'd prefer not to technically subtract in algebra. So what I'm going to do here is manipulate the bottom equation by multiplying through by negative 1. And what does that do? Well that gives us now negative 2x, positive 5y, negative 13, and then I can go back to addition. Correct? So, this, notice I'll do this again, this red one takes the place of the bottom one now. This has been rewritten. Multiply through by negative 1, change the sign, change the sign, change the sign. Now we can add straight down again. So, adding, whoops, sorry, look at that. Did you get, oh, I don't, I guess we didn't finish this one. But that's okay. Why don't you go ahead and try that one on your own, and uh, we'll just have to see what we get. Let me see if I can grab my pen here. I guess this is one that we would do in class together. So if I do this, and I add straight down, these two cancel. I get 6y here, and negative 18. So what is y going to be? Well, y is going to be negative 3. Okay, so I know that in my ordered pair, I get negative 3 for y. Now, what could I do? Well, let's see, I can take the negative 3 and put it anywhere I want. Which one do I... I'll put it right here, negative 3. So I'm going to go 2x plus negative 3 equals negative 5. A little bit messy there. Let's go ahead and add 3 to both sides. 2x equals negative 2. So what does x equal? Looks to me like x equals negative 1. So maybe you got negative 1, negative 3. I hope so. Well, double check if I'm right. Okay, then clear that and we'll go back to work here and that looks like the that's it for 9-3 pretty straightforward tomorrow we will build on this idea because of course a lot of times these numbers lined up nicely and they played nicely together but what's going to happen if the numbers don't play so nicely we'll find out